How to manipulate the player part 3. Guys, this time we'll create the transition between the idle player idle animation and player jump animation. So before that, we will create a new parameters. So click plus and choose bool for a boolean and let's call this boolean anim jump. So then let's create now our transition. So from the idle to the jump, let's click right, make transition. And here is my transition. Let's select it. Let's end select or end check this S exit time and even the fixed duration. And let's put the transition duration to zero. So now we will apply some condition. So let's push the press the plus sorry and then we got uh, not will not take the anim speed variable but anim jump variable and we have to put it to true so let's create the same things from the player run animation to the jump animation so i will create a transition and i will once again select it and check the S exit time checkbox, the fixed duration and put the transit duration to zero and choose for the condition the anim jump animation and you have to put it to true. Guys, let's create two more animation from the player jump to the player idle and from the player jump to the player run. So let's create this one will go faster this time so i have to uncheck here and here and put here the value of zero okay for the condition guys let's set uh, the anim speed less than 0 0.01 because we return to the idle state with no speed and for the anim jump we must not jump anymore so you have to put the value of false let's do the same things now when we go from the player jump animation to the player run so let's create a new transition let's select it let's uncheck those two boxes and let's put the duration to zero once again and let's put some condition so the first condition is on anonym speed so it must be greater than 0 0.01 to play the player run and for the jump anim jump parameter you have to put false so now guys let's return to our code so the code is inside the scripts here let's open the script guy our next goal is to play the player jump animation if the player is in the hair i mean if he's not grounded so to do so we'll create a if statement so if uh, the player is not grounded i mean the variable is grounded is equal to false so if is grounded is equal to false we have to play uh, the animation the jump animation so i have to write anim dot set bool then i have to set the condition the condition is that the parameter anim jump must be equal to true so if it's not grounded if the player is not grounded we have to play the jump animation player jump animation so we even if the, the condition the opposite condition if the player is grounded so if the player is grounded i mean if you touch the ground so at this moment we must not play 
the jump animation so i have to put the parameter anim jump to the value of false so we have to save the script return to unity and run the game so i have to be sure that this will disappear so if i press the play button i mean the run button let's see what's happened so if i press the spacebar array our um, player is jumping we have the jump animation everything is good now guys we can run be idle and jump guys to animate the player you must first uh, use the animator window to create transition between clips and second for the coding part you have to use the set pool any jump parameter pool set it to true uh, to trigger the jump animation or use the set bool with the anim jump parameter equal to false to stop the jump animation guys let's do some setup in the next video